Oh, g'day. I'm Peter, BK4EA. I'm just uh, show you some of my test gear I brought down for the test and tune up day. So here we've got a Snoop oscillator. It's an old HP device, but um, very stable. We've got plug-ins uh, from 1.8 to 18 gigs. I use that for measuring return loss on antennas, feed horns, and that sort of thing. Uh, pretty useful for that. An old spectrum analyzer I picked up uh, quite cheap in the surplus market. Uh, the signal generator, which I use with the cone generator, which produces um, uh, harmonics right up the spectrum, so it's very useful as a signal source. Um, my frequency counter, which is good for 26 gigs. Um, again, not very expensive, got that in the surplus market. Very useful device. And my portable uh, signal generator, which is not finished yet. Um, I just ordered uh, Adam VK4 GH heads designed for that. It's based on the Graham Burns XTK design. And at the moment, it's putting out a harmonic on 5.7 um, gigs. So you can see it's a, a relatively clean signal, not bad for a harmonic. And uh, this instrument is, is pretty old, but, and uh, I've been trying to baby it so I can keep some years into it, because it's uh, pretty expensive to replace. So starting, starting from the left, um, just a bit of Spectrum Analyzer 101. This is a frequency device, so we're sweeping the frequency from left to right, rather than a crow sweeping in time from left to right. So this is showing a harmonic, or a signal, if you like, on around about 5.76 gigahertz. So that's uh, coming out of the signal generator. And it's relatively clean, so you can see there's not too much stuff on the side. I can blow it up a bit, so you can see, you get that away. So what I'm doing is I'm widening the bandwidth. So you can see, oops, you can see just how clean the signal is. And these lots of bits of fur around here are known. If you get that too wide, that's known as phase noise. So you can see that's relatively clean. I'm pretty happy with that. As a portable field source, it's ideal. It's perfect. So starting from the left, the controls are the tuning control. That moves um, the display left and right, much like the um, time ace on a, on a pro. This is the bandwidth control, so I can go in and have a look at all the spectrum. So that's, I mean, that's 50 megahertz from here to here. And obviously that's quite a small slice. And this is the attenuator. So you have to be careful not to put too much signal in these things, otherwise you will uh, blow them up. And uh, that allows me to change the height. So that as a way more attenuation in. So you can see the signal increase. That's the reference. So that's uh, the attenuator. Other than that, it's a very, very basic device. There's nothing too complicated about it. It's 1980s vintage, so um, they're very easy to drive for, uh, for home use.